in the last class we talked about uh, the different uh, types of barriers for communication so now let us uh, discuss about the non verbal communication non verbal means we use it can be some small words but mostly it is actions symbols feelings these are called non verbal tools for the communication so you can raise your hand you can show a pencil you can show some action show this these are all the different gestures if you are happy you jump and say that you are happy emotions you know give a message hug shake pray you wave the hands all these are non verbal communication tools now this non verbal symbols that we are talking about is divided into three types they are called paralanguage uh, kinetics and proxemics paralanguage kinetics and proxemics what is paralanguage the tone of the voice the tempo the emphasis tone of the voice if you can talk in a very pleasing way and without raising your voice without being very harsh then you can please other person so if instead of if you want some favor from somebody instead of saying get me the book get me the book how is it sounding or if you say will you please get me that book how does it say get me the book immediately how does it say this is actually a body language that we are talking about so so when you say social uh, this is uh, one this is a uh, verbal now you can also have uh, these para language in written communication also people should follow say suppose you want to give a rule during covid 19 uh, this pandemic condition you must follow what three rules what are they social distancing mask wearing and sanitization social distancing mask wearing mask and sanitization so if you put a star here you can say this is important or you can underline these are all you know where you want people to give importance that is known as para language then you have kinesics these are action without any words you can hug you can show your anger you can show your fear all these things you can raise your hand you can hold you can hold the hand and show fingers like uh, cross fingers like that so this is basically or uh, these are three types they are called body language gesture voice body language means you lean forward you bend you raise all that is body language gestures more emotions raise the eyebrows okay like that voice commanding voice pleasing voice whatever way you want then proxemics that is your seating arrangement in a class or a meeting or in an office so you will have a favorite seat a favorite place a favorite corner every day you like to sit in your in the first bench in a class maybe or at home you have your own room you have your own table you like to sit only there when you are watching tv you like to sit at one place when you want to have your meals you sit at another place or another corner when you want to study you will be in separate place every day you want to sit there only to study so these are all different ways of gestures so proximix means proximity closeness to wherever you are okay